Yeah, and unfortunately those two will be getting the, the bonus of starting from dead last. Um, horrible race conditions here, or very, very testing, so it's going to see who the true champion is. And uh, the two champions there running off the grid is the two marshals, uh, having a marshal in these conditions. 51 here, what a great race he had last time. Cameron Leslie showing his class. He came through and took that one. He just sat there by his time. So keep an eye on him. He is very, very good in the wet and the dry. 51 one from 28 from number 50 we've got Leslie King and Simpson that's the front row they're ready to do business she's pretty sparse this one the grid is um, definitely thinned out there's quite a few bikes we had like 30 something we had 36 all lined up but it uh, doesn't look like we've got that Leslie Boo gone great start there he's happy and wet or dry throwing it out wide and peeling into turn one he's a superstar in the wet man you look at the computer screens up here I'm very lucky to be in such a quality box here up at Hampton Downs Raceway and I can just uh, keep dry eat my muffin and someone else's muffin and uh, watch the racing and it's got Leslie out in front Simpson King uh, Elvin there fourth McRae in fifth Fortis there in sixth Finley in the Finlay there on the 98 bike in seventh, Cook there in eighth, Ed Williams, he did a great race last time, Edmund Williams there, um, so keep your eyes peeled on here, good one, and uh, Trevor Taylor there, that's the top ten. Looks good. Great start there. Cameron Leslie and Hamish Simpson are going to get into it. Hamish doing the fastest one there. Just dropped off to a minute 32 too. So big difference in the wet uh, lap times to the dry ones there. So we have Leslie Simpson, King and Elvin there. They're our top four. Fortis there. McRae, Finlay, Taylor are the top eight. Cook and Williams there. Williams on the move. Keep your eyes peeled. But only doing a minute 50. And the other boys are doing a minute 32. So maybe those front two I think are going to go. Um, looking very happy in these conditions. Testing conditions here up in Hamden. It, it started off as a dry one. I see Stroudy back down there. Yeah, Jesse there, way down, um, going past it. Can't even see him scoop through. Jesse Stroud there, he's in 18th position, so something's uh, happened or he's not liking these conditions, but these are, there goes another Stroud as well. Two of them out there in this one, and I see Andy on the wall. Great to see Andrew Stroud uh, come along and hopefully go in the uh, high sun, 250, the an hour endurance race, which is coming up, uh, last race of the day. Climbing into each other, it's just cool. Cameron Ledger responds, dropping it down to a minute 28, seemingly getting faster and faster. These two are pushing each other. Hamish Simpson, good work. There we go, looking comfortable, scooting through Toilet King, look beautifully presented bike. Next one of the D1 in motorsport boys is Tyler King, who goes through there. Hayden Fortis there on the 31 bike. George, Georgia Elvin there on in fifth position. 55 bike goes through there, that's uh, Trevor Taylor, he's in 7th, Parker there, going through. Seven, Edmund Williams there, he's well down, he was real good in the uh, dry ones this morning, so big changes in this class. Uh, what was out in front winning this morning, it's changed right around, uh, down in 8th position. So it uh, shows the class, but uh, the two people that have been out there in the dry and the wet, uh, Cameron Leslie and Hamish Simpson, they're looking at a class of their own at the moment.
then there's another two uh, Hayden Fortis there and Georgia Elvin haven't gone faster on this lap um, so he's done a Cameron did a 28 7 and then uh, Tyler there was doing similar lap times it's showing it different up on the computer screen but those two are definitely clearly out in front a little bit of a timing glitch there but it's uh, Leslie and King uh, out in front Fortis and Alvin are the second two and then big drop offs uh, dropping back to 37s and stuff 25 and uh, 10 go through there We have Leslie from King Fortis, Elvin McRae, Taylor Finlay, Williams, Wilton there having a great ride, Ben Cook, and that makes up the top ten. Joined up here uh, for a little bit more help. I went again it was a uh, rogi rogi mate she good in the wet nah that was pretty slippery <laughs> <laughs> better than uh, laying it down april eh? pulled the pin made the call no i just didn't make it no i didn't soften off the front enough yeah. it didn't feel very good then i run off track and i had to dodge a few people that were crashing in front of me i was like nah, there's no point yeah nationals is two weeks away i don't really want to drop the bike yeah well that's an interesting thing that you bring up as well cool that they've combined like i believe i believe the suzuki series has been our strongest event and they've combined it this year with the new zealand road racing championship yeah it definitely is a good thing and it helps me out too because it means extra rounds in the north island where i'm accustomed so. hard for the south island boys like they're a little bit more traveling but a lot of the top boys would be doing suzuki series and stuff anyway yeah. wouldn't they yeah yeah most of the top guys come over and do it anyway and they still don't have to do wanganui which is helpful for them because uh, i get the uh I get the want for not doing a street yeah, circuit, yeah, you know, yeah. especially yeah. after your mid-nationals now. So. Yeah, you've you got to be special to pull the trigger on the streets. I ah, will still be there, we'll yeah. still be doing it. I want to hopefully try and get that Tri-Series Championship again. So. Would it be cool to get your name on the Wanganui trophy with that? I mean, I would. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't know if I'll be pushing that. <laughs> yeah. You've got to be a dirt bike boy, hey. Yeah. It's like you got to be NATO, get there. It's it's different, doesn't it? Long enough. Yeah, I pulled the trigger once there last year. Well, yeah, I guess the, the last time they ran it. Yeah. And that's the only time I've ever won. Yeah. And that, I needed to do it to win the championship. Yeah. So I was like, okay, I'll do it. But then after that, I, just, I think I came like fourth in the championship. <laughs> yeah. Cruise. Not going to risk it. Yeah. There's, there's buildings to hit, but the only reason we why we used to do it is we got trophies and it's on TV. We never got on TV, so boom, it was like a bit, little bit of attention and. To be fair though, it's got to be one of the safest streets. Like the oh, flea and they do such a good job yeah, of making that thing safe. Like it wasn't like that. <laughs> she, yeah, she was good, man. It was dirty blooming waratahs and hay bales and yeah, maybe maybe an ambulance there, but yeah, I think it's come a long way. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The camber of the road, man, was disgraceful. Like when you used curbs, you used to use them as booms. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, she was different, but we, in saying that, we never had the horsepower that you guys have as well. So yeah, well, things are so much faster. Yeah, those super bikes going around there and like the breakneck speed. Yeah, it is. Uh, you hit the ground a little bit quicker now. It's just touching like that with some of the other boys as well. Like that, that is the big difference. Like we had dirty carburetors and they were light switches, total loss. So the thing would light up. It may have had 150 or 140 horsepower, but that things were light switches and they were horrible to ride back then. Nowadays, electronics and everything. When I've had a ride on them, man, they're a different beast that you guys get to ride that. They're elusively fast. They are very rapid bikes, but they are quite controllable. Yeah, I think like like jumping on this bike with Ray, like it's a lot quicker than the bike I was riding before. My stock one, but it doesn't feel faster. Yeah, man. Because they're so easy to ride, everything's so well tuned and check it back time. Uh, Cameron Leslie showing his class and just uh, ticking the box there and pulling up another race one. Can't wait for, to see that boy on a 600. He's uh, been going through and those other boys in his uh, class and his lot are doing great results as well so congratulations to the team they've uh, got the win so leslie 51 picks up the win tyler king there gets second hayden fortis gets third place we've got elvin mccray taylor finlay williams will 
Hamilton and Ben Cook make it up in the top 10. Congratulations to all of them. Hobbs, Stroud, Jesse there um, pulling through in 12th position. Um, and that's the top 12 for this season.